Hello and welcome. It's time for Dun 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 Victory Zone. We're so happy you're here. Are you excited to praise the Lord? I am. First, we have a worship song, followed by a lesson from one of our Victory Zone teachers. After that, we will have say our confessions. And then we will have some more worship songs. Parents, don't forget, help us with our memory verse for the week and the activity. Are you ready? Let's get started. Everyone. Welcome back to Victory Zone. I miss April and I will be your teacher for this week's lesson. Guys, our week's lesson is titled Red, White, Red, excuse me, Right and True. And it goes along with the 4th of July or Independence Day theme 
where you would see red, white, and blue. It's kind of a tongue twister, but our title is red, right, with an R, and true. And our bottom line is Jesus wants to free us from sin. Jesus wants to free us from sin. And our memory verse comes from John chapter 8, verse 36. It says, so if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. Let's say that again. So if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. And that comes from John chapter 8, verse 36. So the 4th of July is an American holiday. It's a time when people gather with their loved ones, they barbecue, they play outside in the summer sun, they blow up fireworks, there's a lot of family reunions around that time. It's a special celebration for our country, right? It's also a day that made a lasting impact on the entire world. It is the day, it's the time when the freedom was won in the American Revolution and that freedom inspired other countries around the world to fight for their own freedom. But not every nation was able to win its independence on its own. When the tiny island of Cuba went to gain independence from Spain, the American um, the American, um, the Americans had to help them, right? Things in Cuba changed dramatically over the next century, but the story of how America came to their aid to fight for independence is very similar, a very familiar um, for us as Christians. We have a freedom that we never could have won on our own, right? We never could have won that freedom on our own. We are free from sin, and it's because of a man named Jesus. He came to give us the greatest freedom of all. So guys, let's grab our Bibles. Let's turn to the book of John, and we're going to read chapter 8, verses 2 through 11. Pause the video, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about it. All right, did you get your passage read? Very good. So the woman brought before Jesus was guilty of sin. She was guilty of sin. Can anybody tell me what sin is in your own words? Yeah, those are all good. So sin is anything outside of what God wants us to do. It's basically missing the mark. Sin is missing the mark of what God wants us to do. So let's think about this story. Why didn't the men who accused the woman stone her? Why didn't they stone her? Because they were sinners as well, right? None of them was without sin and they all knew it within their hearts. Only Jesus never sinned because he was um, God's son. But instead of condemning the woman and making her feel bad about her actions, he forgave her. Jesus set the woman free. And as our memory verse teaches us today that we learn, that when Jesus sets you free, you will be free indeed, that you are free indeed. Anytime Jesus sets us free, we are truly free indeed. And freedom from sin is a gift. Can you turn around and tell your neighbor that freedom from sin is a gift? There's no weapon that can win against sin and no strategy that can overcome it. Even one sin is enough to convict us and separate us from the Lord. We needed someone to come and win the victory for us. And who did that? You're right, Jesus did that. Jesus won that victory for us. He did it all on his own, right? And he had no assistance doing that. And he wants us, he wants to set us free. And we can claim that freedom by accepting him. 
we can claim the freedom that Jesus won for us by accepting him as our Lord and our Savior. So I hope you all enjoy your 4th this year, your 4th of July. We hope that you celebrate and have a lot of fun. Um, and there's so much to be thankful for, including the fact that Jesus set us free from sin, right? But even more than the freedom we jo enjoy as Americans, we need to celebrate the freedom as believers. Jesus won the freedom and it's all of ours for the taking. We just have to accept Jesus as our Lord and our Savior, right? So guys, thank you so much for joining me this week. Remember that Jesus wants to free us from sin. He already has by dying on the cross, but we must accept him as our Lord, as the one that's gonna lead our lives, right? So, dear God, we thank you, Lord, for sending your son, Jesus, to free us from all of our sins. We claim that freedom by accepting Jesus and help us to live for you and in the freedom that you have provided us. We love you and we thank you so much, so much in your son, Jesus name. Amen. Guys, we'll see you back next week in Victory Zone. Bye bye. Wow, what a great lesson. Did you learn something? I know I did. Let's have confessions. Repeat after me. God is the strength of my life, and I can do anything but Jesus in me. I love others because you first love me. I am an overcomer. Your word makes me a winner every time. No weapon formed against me shall ever prosper. I listen, I learn, and oh, I obey. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me a chance to do great things for your kingdom. Parents, don't forget to help us with the memory verse for this week and the activity. See you again next week at the Zoom. Thank you.
Great day.